Hello everyone, welcome to our new journey about sets. Today's lesson will focus about universal set and subset. From the last video, I've asked you to study about this. But before anything else, let us have this video. Now, can you say something about the video? And can you relate it about universal set and subset? Now, let's discuss it further. From what you have seen, we have the universe. On the next part of it, we have what? Yes, we have the solar system. As we all know, solar system has, of course, the sun and the planets, in which everyone knows we have the Earth, because it is where we live. Aside from it, you have also seen this picture, and this picture is a picture of a continent, one of the continents in our planet Earth. And this is the Asia. Now, you have also seen that portion in which a country is being circled. And what country is it? That's right. That's the Philippines. And as we all know, there are different countries in Asia. But, well, aside from that, you have also seen this portion. And this is what? It shows one of the regions in the Philippines, and that is the NCR. How are we going to relate the following to our lesson, which is about universal set and subset? Let us define first what universal set and subset is. The universal set, denoted by you, is the set of all possible elements used in the problem. So again, it is the set of all possible elements or the set of all possible members from a given set. And a subset is a set whose elements are all members of another set. And the symbol for that is what you have seen in front. It's like letter C with an underline below. To understand it further, let us illustrate the video as this. As you observe, the universe is written on a rectangle because it serves as the universal set. We all know that the universe has billions of stars and billions of galaxies. And aside from that, it has solar system. And, and then from there, we have the sun and the planets. Well, specifically, we have the planet Earth. It is because it is where we live. Now, on the planet Earth, we have different continents. And on those different continents, we have different countries. And on those different countries, we have different regions. And on different regions, we have different towns and cities. Now, what do you observe about universal set and subset? So, from what we have defined, we can say that if you are a part of something bigger, then you are a subset. For example, Town and city are a subset of region, and regions are a subset of countries, and countries are subsets of continents, and continents is a subset of the planet Earth. And the planet Earth is just a subset of the solar system, and the solar system is just a subset of the universe. It is because the universe is our universal set. It is because it has all the elements, it has all the members. Now that is what universal set and subset all about. Now let us relate that in math. Let us have this as our example. Our universal set in number one has the following elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now set A has the elements one, two, three, four, and five. And set B has the elements one, two, and three. Observe that every element in B can also be found in A. One, two, and three are also in a and therefore we can say that b is a subset of a so you just need to remember that if 
in this set, the elements can be found in another set, then that is a subset of it. And this can be read as B is a subset of A. Now let us have example number two. Our universal set has the following elements. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Now set A has the elements 2 and 8. While set B has the elements 2, 4, 8, and 12. Now which is the subset? Is it the A or the B? So you have to remember that if every element can be found in another set, then that is the subset. Now from here, we can say that A is a subset of B. Because the elements 2 and 8 can also be found from the elements in B. So we can read this one as A is a subset of B. Now let us have a review exercise. You can pause the video and try to answer the following. Let us read first the direction. Identify whether A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A. Okay, for number one, our universal set has the following elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set A has the element which is 2, and set B has the elements 2 and 4. Now, is it A is a subset of B, or B is a subset of A? 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So the answer is, A is a subset of B. Why? It's because every element in A can be found in B. And that is 2. Let us have example number 2. Our universal set has the following elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well, set A has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And set B has the elements 2 and 3. Now, is it A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A? So, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And the answer is, B is a subset of A. Why? This is because every element in B can be found in A. And what are those? It's correct. We have 2 and 3. So let us have example number 3. Our universal set has the following elements. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Now set A has the following elements. C, E, F, and G. And set B has the following elements, F and G. Now, is it A is a subset of B or B is a subset of A? So then we start now. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And so the answer is B is a subset of A. Now, why B is a subset of A? Mm, that's correct. It's because every element in B can be found in A, and those are F and G. So in here, we're going to study universal set and subset using Venn diagram. To illustrate universal set, we're going to use rectangle. And since it contains the elements 1 to 10, we're going to write numbers 1 to 10 inside the universal set. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we have set A, who has the following elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now can you locate it? Okay, that's correct. Now we're going to use circle in order to show that those are the elements of set A. Now we have set B. The elements of set B are 1 and 4. Now can you locate it? Okay, there's 1 and 4. So what do you observe? Set B is also in set A. It is because every element in B can also be found in A. And from here, we can say that B is a subset of A. Okay, questions. Next, we have number 2. Our universal set contains the elements numbers 1 to 10. Now, what are the elements of set A? We have 2, 4, and 10. Now, what are the elements in set B? We have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Well, what do you observe? 
That's correct. Every element in A are also element in B. So we have this one. Now from here, and from using Venn diagram, we can say that A is a subset of B. Let us have example number three. So again, our universal set contains the elements 1 to 10. Now take a look first with set A and set B. Are there common elements? As you observe, set A has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And set B has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So what can you say with the elements? That's correct. Both of them have different elements. And therefore, how are we going to illustrate that using Venn diagram? Well, on set A, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And on set B, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. As you observe, in here, every element in A can't be found in B. Same read, every element in B can't be found in A. And therefore, A is not a subset of B, and B is not a subset of A. Questions? Well, if none, let's have a review exercise. So, so you can pause this video while answering. So let us now check your answers. So as you observe, our universal set again are numbers from 1 to 10. Now, set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 9. And set B has the elements 2, 3, and 7. And so therefore, from here, we can say that B is a subset of A. Well, for number 2, again, our universal set consists of the elements 1 to 10. And from here, the elements of set B are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. While set A has the elements 1, 3, and 6. And from here, we can say that A is a subset of B. So are you correct? Are your answers correct? Well, I hope you learned because for your assignment, you're going to study about union and intersection of sets. So thank you for watching and like and share. Share it to grade seven. Thank you.